When bison roamed North America by the millions, this stretch of northern Mexico was part of their territory. After nearly disappearing in the 19th century, wild bison are back. This is one of the machos. This herd did not migrate across the prairie. It started with 23 animals trucked here from South Dakota. Donde fue antes territorio de bisontes. Jose Luis Garcia Loya runs Rancho El Uno, an ecological reserve 80 miles south of the border. The bison are part of an ambitious plan by the Nature Conservancy to restore grasslands destroyed by overgrazing. Unlike cattle, which stay and feed to the root, bison eat and roam, leaving some of the plant intact. Their heavy step breaks up the soil and helps grass seeds grow. This rancher remembers the tall grass when he was a boy. Rescuing grasslands also means winning over skeptical cattle ranchers in the region. <laughs> this rancher says at first many questioned what they considered a crazy plan to bring the bison back. But as they've started to see results, some have adopted sustainable grazing practices. Rancho El Uno is also cultivating the next generation of conservationists. Students in the area started their own ecological clubs after seeing the bison. Something that you don't see every day. It's very cool. Nearly three years after 23 bison arrived in Mexico, the herd has grown to 37 animals. By fall, mating season is just a memory. The hope is that most of the females in this herd are now pregnant. And if all goes well, come spring, Rancho El Uno could see as many as 20 baby bison. Uno. Garcia calls out to his favorite, Uno, number one the first pure wild bison born here. Now there's hope Uno. she'll be a mother and continue the centuries-old bloodline at the center of this modern-day conservation effort.